Welcome to Dividend Dive, the podcast where we explore investment opportunities that can help you beat inflation and add yield to your portfolio. Today we're diving into the Alarian Master Limited Partnerships Exchange Traded Fund Stock Symbol AMLP. This ETF offers an impressive 8% yield, which is not only above the current inflation rate of 6%, but also significantly higher than the average yield for the S&P 500 and 10-year treasuries. Join us as we take a closer look at AMLP to determine if it's a good addition to your portfolio. Let's start by understanding what the Alarian MLP ETF is. Alarian is a $6.45 billion exchange-traded fund managed by Alps Funds. Its goal is to mirror the price and yield performance of the Alarian MLP infrastructure index before fees and expenses. The fund primarily invests in master limited partnerships, MLPs, that derive the majority of their cash flow from midstream activities within the energy industry. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly are MLPs? Master Limited Partnerships are publicly traded entities in the United States that are taxed as partnerships. The income generated by MLPs flows through to investors. To qualify as an MLP, these entities must earn at least 90% of their revenue from activities such as the production, processing, storage, or transportation of natural resources like oil natural gas, or minerals. In the case of AMLP, most of the MLPs in which it invests are pipeline companies involved in the storage and transportation of oil and natural gas. These companies act as crucial infrastructure, essentially serving as a toll road for the energy industry. They collect volume-based fees for the use of their pipelines, making them less volatile and less exposed to the price of the underlying commodity compared to traditional oil companies. As a result, MLPs are often considered reliable dividend stocks. However, one downside of investing in MLPs is the tax complexity associated with them. Investors in MLPs typically have to file a K-1 form with their taxes, which can be a headache, especially for retail investors. MLPs can generate unrelated business taxable income and add complexity to the tax process. This is where the appeal of AMLP shines. It offers the same high yield as a typical MLP, but without the burden of a K-1 form. AMLP is structured as a 1099 for taxes, simplifying the tax reporting process. Furthermore, AMLP pays qualified dividends, and a portion of these distributions is tax deferred. Now, let's take a closer look at AMLP's top holdings. This ETF is highly concentrated, with only 17 stocks in its portfolio. Its top 10 holdings make up over 90% of the fund. These holdings include companies such as MPL XLP, Enterprise Product Partners, Magellan Midstream Partners, Plains All-American, Energy Transfer, and Western Midstream Partners. Turning our attention to the price target for AMLP stock, Wall Street analysts are relatively bullish. AMLP has a moderate by consensus rating, with an average price target of $46.07, implying an upside potential of approximately 20%. Out of the 86 analyst ratings on AMLP, 65% are buys, 28% are holds, and 7% are sell ratings. Blogger sentiment on AMLP is bullish, and crowd wisdom is positive. However, it's important to mention that hedge fund involvement in AMLP has been decreasing. Taking a look at AMLP's past performance, we can see that it had an impressive gain of 25.3% last year outperforming the broader market as the S&P 500 experienced a nearly 20% loss. However, this year, AMLP is down about 1% year-to-date, while the S&P 500 has gained 1.4%. Zooming out to a longer time frame, the picture becomes less favorable. Adjusted for dividends, AMLP has underperformed the S&P 500, with a gain of 16% over the past five years compared to the broader market's superior returns of 53%. So, what's the investor takeaway here? If you're looking to generate income or add yield to your portfolio to combat inflation, AMLP could be a valuable option. It offers the benefits of high-yield MLPs without the hassle of a K-1 form at tax time. While AMLP has performed well in recent years, particularly due to elevated oil prices, it's essential to consider its long-term underperformance compared to the broader market. Additionally, AMLP is not a diversified ETF, with the top 10 holdings dominating over 90% of its assets. Another aspect to be cautious about is the ETF's dividend payout history. While AMLP increased its dividend payment from 2021 to 2022 and is expected to continue the trend in 2023, 
it experienced several years of declining annual payouts before that. Lastly, it's important to be aware of the expense ratio of 0.87% for AMLP, which is relatively high compared to other ETFs. These fees can accumulate over time and impact your overall returns. Despite these considerations, AMLP can still be a valuable addition to a well-rounded portfolio, providing an opportunity to boost yield. It's crucial to carefully assess your investment goals and risk tolerance before making any investment decisions. That's all for today's episode of Dividend Dive. We hope you found this exploration of the Alarian MLP ETF informative and insightful. As always, do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Join us next time as we dive into more dividend investment opportunities. Until then, stay tuned, stay informed, and keep diving. Hey there, before we end, we want to make sure we're transparent with our listeners, and we want to disclose that the podcaster may own stock in this company. Now we want to make it clear that we're not financial advisors, and this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only. We're not making any recommendations to buy or sell any securities. However, we understand the importance of FTC compliance, and we want to let you know that any opinions expressed in this podcast are solely our own and are not influenced by any potential stock ownership. At Dividend Dive, we strive to provide accurate and unbiased information to our listeners. We believe in transparency and integrity, and we want you to have all the information you need to make informed investment decisions. As always, do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thanks for listening, and let's keep swimming. That's it for today's podcast. Thank you for listening, and be sure to hit that subscribe and notify button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, let us know if there is a high-yielding dividend stock you would like us to review. See you next time.